Guys, how you doing? I wanted to show you um, how to use an SD card on the Maven 3 or Prelude Plus. The reason I'm creating this video is because I got a comment of a lady saying that you cannot install an app on the SD card on the Maven 3. And that's false. You can do it. You can install it, but you need to format the SD card correctly. Let's do that, guys. Go to settings and you're going to go to storage. So here you're going to see the internal storage. We are using 5.13 gigabytes of 8 gigabytes and I have a micro SD card of 16 gig of space and I'm using 1.17 gigabytes. So let's format this card so I can use it on the phone as an internal storage. If you click here, you're going to go to the menu, right? But if you click here, you're going to eject it. So let's do that for you to see. Ejecting SD card is safely ejected. Now, if you click it again, it's going to ask you if you want to mount it. So you mount it. Now it's mounted. Memory card inserted. Okay. And now you can click again here and you can see the stats, right? Total space is 16 gigs, available 1483 gigabytes. So you can remove the SD card, format it, and format as internal. Only when you format as internal, you can install an app on the SD card. So let's do that, guys. Format as internal. This requires the scan this SD card to be formatted to make it secure. After formatting, this scan this SD card will only work in this device. Formatted erases all data currently stored on the scan this SD card. To avoid losing data, consider backing it up. Format as internal storage. All right, erase and format. He said, don't remove the SD card while it's formatting. And remember, guys, uh, the SD card for the Maven 3, in order to put it in the phone, you need to turn the phone off first. Take out the battery and put it in. Just wanted to show you that you don't need to take out the battery in order to put or take out the micro SD card. But you need to turn off the phone but you don't need to take out the battery okay so it says move data to new storage hmm you can move your photos files and some apps to this new scan this SD card the move takes about one second and will free 0 0.95 megabytes of internal storage some apps won't work while it's underway so we're gonna poof move now so what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna move a little bit of data from the internal storage to the SD card. The move will take one second. It will free almost one megabyte of the phone. All right, move. So now it's moving the data. Scan this SD card is ready. Your new scan this SD card is working. To move photo files and add data to this device, goes to settings storage. All right, guys, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click done. And now what I'm gonna do, guys, is I want to download an app. So I'm gonna go to the Play Store so I decided to install Block Puzzle Jewel because I was looking for an app that is not that heavy. So this one is only 14 gig. I mean, sorry, 14 megabytes. And it's already at 32% downloaded. So let's wait until I download it completely. And I want to show you that this app is probably going to be safe on the SD card. Because, again, we format the SD card to be treated as an internal uh, memory as an internal space on the phone so anything that is apps anything that is photos videos it will be installed on the SD card all right so let's open it block puzzle I don't know what do you need to do on this one guys I don't know okay you put it here I don't know how to play this okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this app clear all and I'm gonna go to see the internal storage. In storage. And here you can see that the phone is still using 5.15 gigabytes and the scan this SD card now is using 72 megabytes. All right, but I want to show you if you go to settings and you go to apps, we wanna try to find that game, which is this one, Block Puzzle Jewel 29 Max. And here you can see that storage is 2952 megabytes used in external storage. That means that this app was installed on the micro SD card. 
So for that people that says that you cannot put apps on an SD card on the Maven 3, they are wrong. You can. But again, you need to format the SD card as an internal uh, internal memory. Okay, so now let's do something, guys. What happens if we format the SD card to be treated as an external removable device? Click here. And you can see here, format as portable. So let's click on that one. And it will show you, it will tell you after mo after formatting, you can use this scan, this SD card in other devices. All data on this SD card will be erased. Consider backing up first. Backup photos and other media, backup apps. All apps stored in this SD card will be uninstalled and their data will be erased. All right, guys, so let's try to back up the, that, um, that app that we saw. Let's see if we can move it. Let's see in storage. Here, storage use. Scan this SD card, right? So what happens if we click change? Now we're going to move it from the SD card to the phone. Okay, and they're going to ask you, move block puzzle jewel. Okay, move. All right, guys, so I'm moving the app from the SD card to the internal storage. So now when you click on the app, you can see that this one is used on the internal storage. All right, guys, so I back up this game. So now I can go back, right? I can go back to settings and I'm going to format the SD card in a way that is removable. And that's called format as portable. Now that I back up my apps, I'm going to format it. Format it, scan this SD card. As scan this SD card is ready. Okay, done. This is important, guys. When you format the SD card as portable, there are some files that they are being installed on the card to be able to be compatible with other devices and either, either you know, on, on your laptop also. So that's why it doesn't say 16 gigs available it's 1.17 gigabytes use all right guys so just want to show you that so again the game is already on the internal memory you can we can see it again you know use you know 29 52 megabytes use in internal storage all right so the game is in the external storage now let's see if it works Okay, it looks like it works, guy. It works. All right, cool. So that's it, guys. This is just the first video I'm doing on the internal SD cards. I will do a more detailed video soon, but I just wanted to show you that, that you can install apps on the micro SD card on the Maven 3, even though, guys, this is the Prelude Plus, but it's the same phone as the Maven 3. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.